Yes, uh, so my name is uh, Mrs. Uh, Nyarai Manyenga, uh, and I'll be taking you uh, for the contingency course for uh, 401. Uh, in terms of uh, the course objectives, um, um, at the end of the course, students will be um, expected to know, uh, to define simple assurance and annuity contracts as well as uh, developing formulae for, for these. And um, in the course, we'll also describe and use practical methods um, of in evaluating um, expected uh, values and variances of uh, simple contracts. Um, and uh, in addition to this, uh, we'll also um, describe and uh, calculate net and gross premium reserves for life contracts as well as annuities. And um, over and above that, uh, we will be also describing and using methods for projecting and valuing expected uh, cash flows uh, that are also contingent on uh, multiple decrement events. And uh, we'll be also be uh, using projected cash flow techniques uh, used in pricing and reserving as well as assessing profitability. Hello. Uh, am I audible? I'm here. I'm seeing some comments in the chat section uh, yeah. where people are saying uh, we can't hear you. Hello. Ah, okay. So I'll move on to the learning outcomes. Um, so you would be expected to actually uh, understand uh, the theory and practice of life assurance and pensions work. And uh, also after doing this course, you also uh, have um, some background knowledge uh, in terms of uh, what uh, work goals uh, is done in life, in the life assurance and pension sector. So in terms of um, how I will structure this course, um, this is our initial uh, lecture and um, we'll be just focusing on just a few topics uh, which are just introductory and uh, to okay. Uh, so today I will be just focusing on uh, survival distributions, life tables, and just um, a brief uh, introduction into uh, life assurances as well as um, annuities. So uh, we'll just, um, so uh, in, in doing this course, I just wanted to confirm if um, everyone like his, uh, the actuarial formulae life tables with them. Yes, we have them. Okay, that's great. So I'll just uh, start um, in terms of... Um... The first slide. So in terms of uh, the survival probability notation, uh, so this is just like uh, an introduction. So TPX um, is the probability that a life aged exactly X survives for at least another T years. And then TQX uh, is the probability that a life aged um, exactly X dies uh, within the next T years. So in terms of the relationship between um, these um, probability notations, um, you'd to get TQX, you'll be basically just subtracting from one uh, the survival probability, which is TPX. So QX um, is uh, equal to oh, one QX, which is just uh, means uh, the probability of a life aged X uh, dies within uh, the within the one year period, as well as PQ PX is uh, is the same as uh, one PX, 
uh, which just means uh, the probability of a life aged X surviving um, within uh, with, within for one year. So mu X uh, is the force of mortality at age X. And um, mu X uh, is defined as the limit as H tends to zero of H Q X divided by, by H. So what that uh, basically means that this is just a measure of how you're likely to die uh, at a particular instant uh, of time, uh, mu X. So it's, 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 it's instant. It's continuous um, in terms of uh, the definition. So moving on to the complete uh, future lifetime for a life aged X. So by definition, um, TX is, um, is a continuous random variable and uh, it is the exact future lifetime of a life aged X. So let's say, for example, um, a life aged X um, expects uh, to, 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 to have uh, a, a life um, expectation of about 30 years. Let's say the person is, is aged uh, 40 now and um, expects to live for possibly 30 years. So that uh, 30 years would be like the, 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 the exact future lifetime um, of of a life aged 40 that they expect to live. So this is a continuous ran random variable. So it can take um, any value within a given range. Uh, uh, that is Tx can take any value from zero up to, to infinity. So I will be sharing um, the formulas on a separate worksheet uh, that I did. Uh, is the worksheet uh, visible? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in terms of defining... Hi. Hi. Hello? Uh, it's not, not visible. It's not visible for us, ma'am. Hi, hi. Okay. Hello, uh, can people mute their mics? Uh, okay. So in terms of um, the cumulative um, distribution function, in terms of defining the random variable Tx, uh, which is the expected uh, future lifetime of an individual aged X, so you recall from your statistics, I think you did this in your part two, uh, the cumulative distribution function is defined as the probability uh, of um, x less than uh, small x. So uh, determining the um, cumulative distribution function for tx, uh, so that would be uh, tx less than small t, is equal to to TQX. So um, this would be the, um, the cumulative. Uh, just a moment, I saw someone has raised their hand. Or then, yeah, you can you can un unmute yourself. Uh, hello, ma'am. We can't see the worksheet. Oh, okay. So let me put a new share. Yeah, can we you can see it now. Yeah, you can see it. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So, um, in terms of the cumulative distribution. Uh, this would be TQQX. 
So if you recall from your stats, which you also did in part two, uh, the um, probability distribution function uh, of um, cumulative distribution function is the derivative of, of, of the CDF. So the derivative of this um, would be, um, the probability function would be uh, the derivative of T uh, QX, which will be equal to T P X mu X plus T. So uh, this is uh, basically just um, uh, a background in terms of the cumulative distributions functions for for T um, X as well as um, the probability function of, of, of T X as well. So uh, this is just uh, an example in terms of uh, probabilities involving um, T X um, to show how they can be written in terms of uh, P and Q. Uh, that is the survival probability and the death probability. So where it says, for example, the probability of five um, less than or equal to T uh, 60, where the person is aged, currently aged 60, is less than or equal to 15. Uh, this basically means that um, uh, this person uh, will survive uh, for at least five years and is expected to die within uh, the next uh, 10 years after those five years. So to evaluate uh, these kind of probabilities, uh, you write uh, it in, in this notation. And um, this can be also be equivalent to just calculating the probability of the individual uh, surviving for five years and then subtracting the probability of the individual surviving for eight, um, for 15 years, you will get exactly the, 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 the same answer. So I will move on to the um, uh, complete expectation of life. Um, so the expectation of Tx um, is uh, denoted as E circle uh, X uh, for a life aged X. So um, if you recall uh, from your statistics uh, that um, <laughs> the expectation for a continuous random variable is equivalent to, to the integral uh, or summing over all of X, uh, which will be uh, X times the probability density function of, of X dx. So when you are determining E circle X, uh, it will be the expectation of X. And then you put in the probability function, uh, which we defined uh, earlier on top. Yeah, this one, and uh, multiplying it by T. And to solve this equation, uh, you recall from your earlier studies in mathematics, uh, you, this is evaluated by uh, integration by parts. And um, once you evaluated um, the, the, the formula for this, uh, you need to recall that the derivative of TPX uh, is equal to um, TPX mu X, and also the integral of that is minus TPX. So once you want to solve uh, this part, uh, Tpx times T, uh, since it is um, from zero to infinity, if you put um, the infinity part on the T part here for Tpx, that would be equal to zero. And if you also put T, and if you also put T, uh, uh, to zero here, it will just evaluate to zero. So this is uh, um, then the result for, so the expectation of uh, life uh, of an individual uh, aged X, TP, TX will be equal to the integral from zero uh, up to infinity, TPX DT. So this um, is how you, the, how it is uh, derived. Uh, the expectation. So before moving on to the formulae for the uh, cathet future lifetime, 
I will switch to share the slides for to describe uh, what it basically means. So the Ketet Future Lifetime um, is the is the integer part of, of TX. So uh, this would be like values from uh, just one, two, three, four, like up to, to infinity, but it would be the integer part of TX. Where TX, TX it, it's different here because TX can take any value, uh, even 0 0.5, 0 0.7. So therefore, kx is a discrete random variable. So the PDF for kx uh, is equal to the probability of kx equal to small k. Uh, which is um, which is defined to be um, uh, the probability of a life uh, aged X surviving for K years and then dying the following year. So it would be expressed as KPX QX plus K. So this can be just uh, simplified as uh, K is QX uh this dash k here so this basically just means the the life survives for uh the k years and then dies within the following year so k will take values from zero one two up to up to infinity so in determining the expectation of x um is the same thing you recall the formula from uh, your statistics. And um, this would be uh, K times the probability function of KX. And um, you'll see that once solving um, this uh, probability function, putting it in here, um, it will then simplify to these numbers where uh, you'll be saying um, one times uh, the probability of a person surviving for at least a year and then dying the following year. And um, it's, 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 it's a formula that goes up to infinity. So then when you want to now simplify uh, breaking it down, uh, the formula, it will now give you um, these values uh, in terms of um, Q, QX, um, the person surviving for for at least a year and then dying the next year um, up to up to infinity. Uh, then you also see here that there is a two here, and it would mean that uh, you would have to start. You would have to start at two for the next uh, summation, and then. Uh, then you add on the next summation starting at three and so on and so on. So once you have um, completed this, you will see that this simplifies to just simply the probability of an individual surviving the first year and um, the probability adding on the probability of the person surviving um, the first two years, three years, four years and so on to get the, the, the expectation um, of a, a life aged X. So this then simplifies to uh, the summation of K plus one up to infinity KPX. So uh, the relationship between E circle X and uh, E X, uh, you see that if we assume that um, um, on average, uh, death okay halfway between birthdays, then E circle X will be equal to E X plus one half. So it's key to, 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 to know this formula because you'll be expected to actually uh, solve uh, particular questions that will be asked 
um, uh, applying your knowledge you've gained from this course. So I'll move on to the slides. So in terms of uh, the life table, uh, just um, this are uh, just like uh, descriptions uh, of the notations in the star in the life tables for you to understand them. So LX is is the expected number of lives um, who are expected to survive to exact age X out of a group of lives aged um, L alpha. Uh, which will be exactly age alpha. So you see in your life tables, there is a starting age. So alpha is basically the starting age where the investigation was, was, was carried out for that uh, particular code of lives. And um, the LX would be the, the, the number of, uh, of lives who survive at that um, age. Um, I'm seeing a hand. Yes, ma'am. I noticed you took time in the derivations. I would require to know this one. Um, I, yeah, uh, these ones uh, you will be required to know because there are some questions. Um, as you see, if uh, you don't understand uh, the structuring of the um, of the random variables. At times, it will be difficult to evaluate some of the questions uh, that uh, might be asked um, when you see when you're practicing exam papers or we're now doing some practice questions uh, on our tutorials after we have finished the course. Maybe to be specific, I meant to say a question like coming uh, asking us to show that 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 be a question in the next. Ah, uh, no. Right. But application, Thanks. yes, but application. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the next part, um, as I alluded to that uh, alpha will be the lowest age in the life table. And uh, you can see that uh, in your life tables, if we have them. And uh, to calculate the survival probabilities, um, these are calculated using the formula um, in Px, as I uh, said. So you, this will be equal to Lx plus n uh, divided by uh, Lx. So you will be saying um, the lives uh, at the start um, of, 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 a, of, of a particular code, uh, aged x, then you want to see whether they serve what number of lives that survive um, up to the noun, there will be now aged X plus N. So that's how you calculate your survival probabilities. Then DX is uh, just the expected number of deaths uh, between exact age X and exact age X plus one um, out of a group of lives aged alpha. alpha. So dx is just lx minus lx plus one. So I just had um, some questions uh, for uh, individuals to just um, attempt. Looking at the tables.
Okay, so yeah, so the questions that I'm beaming, uh, if you can just attempt from uh, what we have just uh, discussed, these ones. So you'll be just looking at um, calculating 5P60 using the ELT 15 females and 10Q70 ELT males and 10-Q70 um, uh, MA92 tables.